We'll do a quick demo of my connected IR controller. I have it mounted here inside of my AV cabinet underneath this shelf right here so it's completely out of the way and then also secured and pointed in the right direction. Um, it's powered by a single USB micro 5 volt and uh, primarily it's controlling this uh, Onkyo receiver and then also a Samsung TV. So I'm going to show you what the front end app looks like on an Android device. The whole reason for this is I got this Note 5 that doesn't have an IR blaster and uh, was coming from a uh, uh, S4 that did have one. So you can see at the top here I have a uh, macro to turn everything on and then I've broken out between the TV and the receiver. So as a quick demo, go ahead and just power up the receiver here by pressing the power button. You see it's instantaneous. The uh, TV does take a little bit longer to, to warm up here so I'll show you the, uh, the LED. So as soon as I press it, you can see that it receives a signal. All right, so now with the TV on, I can control everything with the web app here. So I can control the input source, switch it over to the TV from the Android TV. Watch it'll Judge Judy. All the uh, volume is controlled on the receiver here, so I can mute the volume. I can turn it really loud if I want. You can see it's instantaneous. I can do multiple presses at a time. And I can go ahead and change the channels here. And that's pretty much it. And since this is Wi-Fi, I can do it from anywhere. And, you know, in the house, obviously. Um, it's going to a local IP address, but if I wanted to, I could set up the, the NAT to do this from outside of the house. I don't know if anybody would really want to do that, but, uh, but it is an option. So yeah, it's, I don't have to worry about line of sight. I don't have to worry about um, you know, things blocking it. I can just control this from anywhere.